There is a shocking new report from the Hill newspaper that the Obama administration approved of a Russian purchase of about 25% of all U.S. uranium reserves, even though the FBI had warned of massive bribes, kickbacks, and elements of extortion. Now, there were also serious questions raised about Russian-related donations to the Clinton Foundation from individuals working on the uranium deal at a time when Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State. Joining me now to discuss, Judge Andrew Napolitano, Fox News Senior Judicial Analyst. Well, of course, Judge, we've heard about some of this uh, in the past. Peter we Schweizer have. wrote about the uranium connection and everything. Correct. But we didn't know that the FBI had put together this massive amount of evidence of bribes, extortion. Let me just quote one of the sources for The Hill. They say, the Russians were compromising American contractors in the nuclear industry with kickbacks, extortion threats, all of which raised legitimate national security concerns, and none of that had evidence got aired before the Obama administration made those decisions. Well, That's quite an oversight. It's, it is remarkable, not that the Obama administration didn't indict anybody, but that the Trump administration is sitting on this material as well. It's the same Justice Department. The evidence of Mrs. Clinton's personal complicity in soliciting donations into the millions for the Clinton Foundation in return for permitting the Russian ownership of, U of American uranium interests in the United States, which can only happen with the personal permission of the Secretary of State, is overwhelming. Why? Was she not pursued on this? Well, the big question for me is why did the Obama administration approve of the deal? It was, you're right, uh, Secretary of State was one of the officials that had to approve. There were other administration officials that yes. had to approve. Why did they allow it to go forward knowing what was in this FBI report? Because, well, we don't know if Barack Obama and his folks who make these decisions and made these decisions in the West Wing knew what was in the. Well, let me just stop the you FBI there. Report. Why would the FBI not insist that they know about it? If, if the FBI knew that the administration was about to approve a yeah. deal that was corrupt, David, that would be negligence on the FBI's this part. This is the same FBI and Justice Department that gave Hillary Clinton a pass on the email scandal where the evidence to obtain an indictment and a conviction, the evidence of guilt was overwhelming. This is the same Obama administration that desperately did not want Donald Trump to succeed Barack Obama in the White House. So as reprehensible as this behavior is, it ought not be surprising. It, it, it was very shocking to me, I got to say. I, I know Peter Schweizer. We've been doing reports on this well, whole Schweizer, uranium deal Schweizer's for years. Terrific. But to know that the FBI had a, had a dossier of information about how the Russians were trying to bribe U.S. officials, and maybe there was some of that bribery going on with the Clinton so Foundation, the, uh, it was shocking that they that the administration, the Obama administration, would allow the sale to go on knowing the, so the, the FBI So the question said. is, if Rod Rosenstein, the number two person in the Justice Department, Department, who was in charge of all the Russian investigation because the Attorney General has recused himself, or if the Attorney General himself is listening, why isn't this being pursued now? The evidence is not stale. The, the path has not right. run cold. The statute of limitations has not yet expired. One question. I mentioned dossier. There is that famous Russian dossier on President Trump, yes. which was, was thrown out there. A lot of people assume it was by Democratic operatives to make him look bad. Some people now say for all the talk about the Russians uh, operating on behalf of the Trump administration, it looks like in this case they were operating on behalf of the Clinton administration. The people responsible for that dossier, which was full of stuff that wasn't true, uh, apparently, have now said that they're not going to answer subpoenas from the House Intel Committee about it. They say, and I'm quoting, the subpoenas violate the First Amendment rights of our clients and their clients and would chill any American running for office, and they go on and on. What, well, do they have any case? They do if they could demonstrate to a federal judge that they are entitled to the same protection as, as journalists. They say they are journalists because they do research uh, and they do writing. The subpoena that they received was not properly approved by the committee, but th that's just ministerial. The committee can approve the subpoena. Then the Congress has to decide how far they want to push this. Ultimately, it will be decided by a federal judge who will look in secret okay. at what it is Congress wants and decide whether or not they're entitled to it. By the way, between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. tomorrow, is, is when they are supposed to appear. If they don't, they may be found in contempt of Congress. Prediction, they'll appear and take the fifth. Yeah.